this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time! Let's continue through the Fire Temple and try to find that legendary hammer that Darunia was talking about. Last time, we got a brief start on the temple here. Picked up a few keys, so now let's put them to use. Let's see, you see at the center of the floor down there, we got that sort of a fire pillar there shooting up from the bottom there. You could take that bridge down there, but uh, it's kind of hard to get back up from down there. So let's just use our trusty hook shot to get up to the top here. And let's kill these keesies here because they can fly into that fire pillar there and ignite themselves to become a fire keys. Or there's also that torch on the other side of the platform there that they could use too. So what you're supposed to do is push this boulder on top of the fire pillar and it pushes you right up here. There were also some recovery hearts on the other side of that floor, but I didn't need them, so didn't need to bother going over there. Let's see, we got another jail cell here with a Goron, but I can't rescue him just yet. Oh, yeah, well, I, you are rock people. Man, talk about passing a stone. Holy cow. Maybe you should, I don't know, take some of your special crap with you so that way, you know, when they try to eat you, well, it won't end well for them, will it? Take one for the team. But all right, let's see. Here we got a new enemy, Torch Slugs. And somehow swinging your sword at it puts out the fire on them. I'm not really sure how that works, but okay. So yeah, you can take those guys out easily enough. Let's see, over here, we got a crystal switch that if you hit it, yeah, it gets rid of that ring of fire on the chain link fence there so you could climb it, but we can't get up there fast enough. Whatever shall we do? Well, what you're supposed to do is take this block and move it over here so you can jump over and then get up there this way. Although, there is a way that you could get onto this block from its initial position there, where if you kind of stand on the edge and then roll off to do a jump and then kind of swing over to the top of the block, you could get on to that that way and then get up here. But that's a bit too fickle for my taste. So what I like to do is just drop a bomb down to the crystal switch there from up above and then you've got plenty of time to climb up here before the fire ignites again. Unfortunately, you can't use a hook shot on these chain link fences when it's up against a brick wall. So it only worked there earlier. But all right, here we got the Star Tropics room, as I like to call it, with all these rolling bowling balls going around this maze here. Although, fortunately, they don't one-shot you this time. Unfortunately, though, you can't just hit them with your weapon to make them turn around in an instant. So, they kind of do their own thing. Oh, really? Yeah, there's fake doors here. I guess they're Kind of like mimics or something? Uh, something like that. But, uh, yeah, you want to watch out for them. They look just like regular doors, but you can blow them up with a bomb. So we'll keep that in mind for later. And get a small key while we're at it. Okay, so now let's go to the north side of this floor. Watch out for the boulders. Whoa. Well, fortunately, the boulders don't deal that much damage if they even hit you anyway. But let's see, over here... Yeah, you hear that sound? Yeah, it sounds different than your sword bonking against most walls. Yeah, it's a much lighter tone on that fake wall there, which hides... I think that's Skulltula number 69? Yes, okay. So yeah, just like that one Goron was saying, you got fake walls around here. Just trying to get a good angle so I can see where that boulder is on the left side there. 
Yeah, sometimes boulders will just stop like that. And it's always on a set pattern. But they'll stop and then just turn around and try to fake you out, I guess, or something. But alright, over here, another jail cell. Awesome. Well, I mean, not awesome for the Gorons, but it's awesome that we're freeing them. Man, all you guys got secrets here, huh? How does that even work? I mean, I guess it worked with the torch slugs. Somehow, it, slashing them with my sword put out the fire. Uh, I don't know how that works, but okay. But all right, more small keys. Yeah, they do that quite a bit in this dungeon where they have you get like two or three keys at once and then put them all to use in like many consecutive rooms. So you gotta kind of stockpile them before actually putting them to use. Okay, so over here, let's see, they got some recovery hearts, but I don't need them. Don't walk off the edge or you'll go all the way to the bottom. Instead, yeah, let's just shoot the eye there to open up another room on the side. Okay, be careful. You may want to use Feroy's Wind in the event that you do fall down, so you could just warp back up here, but I don't think that'll be necessary. The room's not that big. But yeah, now we're in a large room, but we're kind of isolated from the rest of it. But I did want to come over here to get this big chest. Which contains the Dungeon Man. That'll be useful here. This dungeon is probably bigger than the forest temple, but it seems to be a bit more straightforward. I mean, they don't have, like, really long branching paths. It's just like, hey, here's a room or a jail cell or whatever like that. But I like the placement of the dungeon map in this dungeon. Like, it's far enough into the dungeon where you actually have to earn it. They don't just hand it to you right at the beginning. But it's not so far into the dungeon that it would be useless by the time you get to the end of it. So, yeah, it's far enough into the dungeon. So let's see, we want to climb up on the metal grating here, but uh, yeah, we got a wall of fire moving towards us from behind. So, yeah, you want to be careful with that. Let's see, in this part, let's see. Well, I didn't really get a good look at them, but uh, those are red bubbles. And uh, they just damage you if they hit you. Okay, so now we're on the upper level of the Star Traffic's room. So I want to set a warp point here in the event that I need it later. Well, I will very soon, actually. Let's uh, get rid of that torch slug there. And I want to be careful attacking it. Oh. Well, at least I didn't fall off the edge. But uh, those guys usually drop, like, magic jars or whatever to refill my magic. Which I kind of need, but... What do you want, Navi? Oh. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm moving. I'm moving. Now, what I like to do, whenever you have, like, a ladder or something that you need to climb down, what I like to do is hold down... And then press A to drop, if I can actually do it properly. And then hold up to grab onto the ladder or the fence again. So that way I don't fall all the way down and take fall damage. Fortunately, grabbing the ladder while you're falling doesn't rip your arms out of your sockets. So, that's pretty nice. But alright, here's that Goron that I alluded to earlier that we couldn't rescue, but now we can. Oh, what about them? Really? I don't think so. At least I've never used it against them. If it's the enemy that I think he's talking about. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what that's about using... I mean, I assume he means using bombs on the mini-boss coming up, but 
Yeah, I don't I couldn't even imagine how you would do that. But whatever, okay, yeah, let's just uh warp back up top there. I mean I could climb back up, but that would take longer. And don't worry about your magic, we'll have plenty of it. Especially if I can actually kill these torch slugs without them uh, falling off the edge with the magic jars. Careful. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's see. There's one more thing I want to take a look at up top here. Let's, yeah, hit the switch. That opens another jail cell. Let's see, I'm not even going to kill this guy. I'm just going to... Once you uh, put out the fire, they just run away. You don't have to kill them. Although, it'd probably be a good idea in this case, because that platform is a little small. So, hit it with your hook shot there. And then, yeah, wait for it to move or something. And, can I get another one? Yes! Okay. Hey, how's it going? Well, I mean, you're in jail waiting to be sacrificed. So, yeah, I'd imagine not very well, but... Well, how are you doing now that I've rescued you? Hmm. How did you just walk out of here? There's a drop after you leave the cell. How does it even work? But all right, yeah, let's get the chest here. Awesome. And yeah, let's just return back to where we were before because that's where I need to, well, put the keys, keys. I need to get back a room. So we'll just do that. Yeah, a little bit short of the warp there, but I find it useful when we've got all these branching pads from here. Now, by the way, what that Goron was talking about was using the ocarina actually right there at that warp point that I set. But I don't want to go up there yet because, uh, if I recall correctly, I can't do everything up there until a bit later in the dungeon. So I'll just save that there for now. But that is a very nice junction point through most of the dungeon there. So I like using that warp point quite a bit. Okay, so let's see. Over here, we got a new mechanic in the dungeon. We got these firewalls that, whoa. Nuts. Well, that's okay. But yeah, whenever you get close to these firewalls, they ignite and you, well, usually can't get through them. Because, well, you'll, what is it, bounce right off of them. Although, there is a way you could damage boost through them, but you don't even have to do that. There's a little trick that you can do to get through those firewalls if you want. I'm not going to take advantage of it, but it is there. But alright, we got the compass here, so I can actually see where the hell I am. Okay, so we want to get to the northern side of the floor, but we got all these firewalls in the way. Whatever shall we do? Well, let's uh, work our way around here first. And let's see. Okay, watch out for those. That fire there. Okay, just be careful. Okay, ah, there's one of the fake doors that, that Goron was talking about. Yeah, so don't fall for that. Okay, so what you can do with these firewalls... Let me see if I can't find a good spot. Okay, this is good. So the firewalls only spawn if you're perpendicular to them. But if you're like on a 45 degree angle like this, you could just roll right through the wall before it ignites there. And you can skip like half the floor here. I'm not going to take advantage of that, but that is a little trick that you could use if you like. Let's see, in this room, we got another Goron, but I can't rescue him yet, so let's not worry about that. Okay, so now we're on the northern side of the floor here, and we got that permanent wall of fire there that we can't get past. So, whoa. <laughs> Man, those guys just got my number today. Good thing I don't have a uh, Dexter Shield equipped. 
Okay, let's see. Okay, so we gotta go around these firewalls there. And, okay, so there's the switch. So, this switch has a relatively short timer. So, you gotta know where you're going in advance before jumping up there. And then you'll be fine. Okay, so let's see. We got another one of those fake doors. So, like the Goron said, let's use their special crap against it. Ha ha! And let's see, get a recovery heart and some bombs. If you need some more bombs and a heart, I think that's in the pots over there. But I think we're all set. For mini boss time! Against the flare dancer. But yeah, I don't know how you would use bombs against this guy. What I always do is, you see there's like the black core? of that flare dancer, something like that. Use your hook shot on it to move it out, and then just hit it with your sword a couple times. Sometimes I can get it in one cycle, but usually I have to circle around the other way in order to get that, get, or to hit the guy twice. Okay, just do that. Whoop. Okay, that didn't go well. I don't know how I missed him three times like that. But, okay. Yeah, I must have hit him through iframes or something. But, whatever. It just takes slightly longer that way. Okay, hook shot it again. Yeah, I need to delay the time between my attacks to get, like, a quick kill on him. But that's okay. One thing you could do, at least in the other versions of the game, I don't know if it works in the 3DS version of the game, but once you hit the core for the final blow, if you jump onto this platform at like just the right time, you can start climbing up onto it before the fire ring goes out, but by the time you actually get on top of it, the fire ring will have dissipated, and then... Uh, what was it? And then you could just get up there a little quicker there. Okay, so we got another one of those rings of fire up top there and the crystal switch. So once again, let's use a bomb to create a sort of a time delay there. Drop that down there. Haha. -ha. And we don't have that much time on this one either. But fortunately, that ring of fire doesn't extend too high. So once you get up top there, then you're in good shape. Okay, so now we're on the top floor of the fire temple here. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, where are we? Okay, so we got this floor switch here that corresponds to that ring of fire up there. And, well, that's where the key item is or a big chest is over there. You could try walking along the outside, which would be safer, but you wouldn't get there in time. So unfortunately, we have to take the narrow path of stairs to get up to that chest there. And if you fall down the middle, you go all the way to the bottom. Oh, wow. I'm surprised I got that on my first try there. Usually what I try to do is to give myself a decent margin of error is I try to walk more towards the outside of that narrow path so that way if I fall, I just fall to, down to the lower level on this floor, not all the way down to the bottom of the dungeon so I can just get back up and try again. But for making it all the way here, we get the Megaton Hammer. And I think that deals damage about the same as the Master Sword, if I recall correctly. But yeah, you do need that in order to deal with certain objects that I haven't gotten through yet in the dungeon. Whoa. Okay, any more if you guys want to mess with me? Oh, there's another one over there. I got... Okay, you're getting away this time. Never mind. I don't got you. But can we defeat Volvagia with the legendary hammer? And free the Fire Sage? Find out next time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time. This is H.G. Baden, signing off. Have a good day.